is one of the most critical pieces of what we as Add to Tampa Bay do. We stand together with the AAF to ensure that the current and future of our businesses and our industries are secured and that our jobs will always be plentiful. because although sometimes it can come off as something very boring, there's actually so many facets of government that affect us on a daily basis as advertisers and communicators. There's things constantly in the works on a national level, all the way down to a state um, and even community level. So one of the, the biggest things that um, has been in the works that affects us directly and AAF Tampa Bay and Add to Tampa Bay have been together and have been fighting and advocating against for years now is um, an amendment that would change the way we are taxed and um, percentages are based with advertising firms. So basically it could affect our paychecks and it could affect the businesses who bring us in to work for them. So I really have taken this role as an educational position for myself to better understand what is going on locally, statewide, and nationally that could affect us, maybe not today, but you know, we're, we are young professionals. There is a level that if some of these bills are passed and some of these you know, reforms are made, it could really affect us in the future and, and our careers down the road. I really thought it would be interesting to try and hype up and excite our membership about advertising and government relations and what is this and why does it always have to come off so boring. So I brought in uh, one of the most interesting and exciting speakers I've ever met, um, Daniel Alvarez, who's a local lawyer, attorney, and also an adjunct professor at UT. He is a, a man who has a very vibrant spirit, a deep passion for marketing and uh, politics in general. It was this camera which was ridiculous. It had no zoom. It was like handheld like this. And I had my press badge and I'm looking at it like, you seriously want me to go cover Whitney Houston with this camera? She's like, do you want the job? And I was like, yes ma'am, so lesson number two. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Let's rock and roll. Danny came in and actually spoke about his experience as a Hispanic political director for the Rick Scott governor race a few months back in November. And what that did was enable us as ADJU and our members to really get an inside view and some pretty fantastic insight into how a campaign is run, what are the different nuances that happen that affect a governor's race, what really affects the outcome and one of the most beautiful things that he said was advertising and branding is at the heart of it all and it was super fascinating because to me and to many of us that sat there that day it was Danny speaking our language it was him telling us things that are no-brainers and make complete sense and looking at a politician as a brand and as a product it's what we do every day One thing that I noticed was missing um, with Add to Tampa Bay is our ties in the community to other groups that are really focused on political and government relations. 
so I am in the process of reaching out to the young Democrats and the young Republicans in the, in the local Bay Area, also young professionals and people that are very passionate about this, know m way more about anything government relations than I do, but I feel it's very important to bring in these perspectives and hear what these leaders in our community are doing and what is important to them and figure out how we can tie in with them, learn from them, grow with them, and together as professionals and upcoming professionals, we can better our community by standing together. As I mentioned earlier, I've been part of ADSU for quite some time now, probably about eight years from when I was in college until now about eight years into my career. And I just want to tell everybody that I am I could not be who I am professionally. I could not have grown and understood my personal goals and my career goals without the amazing mentorships, the friendships, the guidance that I have grown throughout Ad2 and throughout Tampa Bay. And I'm super thankful to everyone that's helped me on my journey. And I really look forward to continuing to meet new people that I can help mentor and grow over the next few years as I become not so much a young professional anymore, but um, a professional here in Tampa.